Hello and welcome to Saturday night here in the African Bushveld for another exciting episode of Animal World Live. <laughs> to Pridelands. Um, you can see it's quite chilly. Yuka. Uh-oh. Uh no, you didn't show, see anything. <laughs> Yuka, show everyone what you're wearing on your feet. Yuka is wearing <laughs> slippers. Yeah. That's not you. I, pretty, I was pretending I'm wearing like a rock shoes, but actually, you know, I thought you guys won't see it, but then That's obviously Rento pointed out. <laughs> not you. Yeah, cheeky slippers. Yeah. Yes, I even took my slippers off and wore <laughs> even though I wanted to keep them on. Um, hello, Black Widow Spider. Hello, Boo, Rosalind, Tony, Jan, Lisa, Annie, Eagles Prey, Barbara, Jake, Sinak, uh, Maggie, uh, Lisa. All lovely to have you guys with us live. Now, we've decided for this Animal World Live to do a little focus on live cams. Coming into the dry season, there is so much happening Just on the live cams. So at the much. And as always, you don't know what's coming, but it's I so much. I don't know what's coming I'm on the live you, cams. So much has happened, Brent. You can be excited. I can be excited. Yeah. Okay, good. Because <laughs> I've just been fixing cars. Yeah. Them, them, <laughs> them and I are done, done with cars. Um, we actually have to go to Johannesburg tomorrow. Um, oh, happy birthday, Boo. Yeah, nice. Happy birthday. Um, we have to take the Badger's gearbox mm -hmm. to try to get it fixed. So, we don't like going to Johannesburg. No, I don't like it. <laughs> but uh, unfortunately, it's going to be the quickest, easiest, and hopefully cheapest place um, to get the Deer Badger's gearbox fixed so we can be back up and running with two vehicles. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, um, speaking of things, should we just jump straight into the live cam? There's a, lot of, the scene, there's a right? lot of work going on behind the scenes, mm -hmm. uh, and of course we, we are. Lots of sound in the afternoon. 
We've lost sound somewhere. Are we back? Yeah. Are we back? Yeah. Are we back? <laughs> um, Okay, then it's just fixing some sound issues, then we'll go back to, to, to live cams. But yeah, they, it's, it's a constant job, mm. keeping all the yeah. live cams up and going and changing batteries. changing batteries. Well, most of them now, we don't need to change batteries. That's great. <laughs> but the wiping up those spider webs. Cleaning spider webs. <laughs> um, and the ones that do have solar panels, you've got to wipe those solar panels uh, down. Otherwise, they don't um, constantly yeah. produce enough power. Mm. Uh, so Especially if we're after today like this, because it was drizzling today. Mm. And, the dust and, everything and then the dust and it forms a little film over the solar yeah. panel, so you actually got to go wipe them. Yeah. And think about something like this, a big herd of buffalo walking past, the amount of mm. dust and mm. nonsense that uh, come, comes through. <laughs> um, oh, well done, Julie, you made it. <laughs> so, third yeah. painted dog uh, yeah, she was uh, live show of, uh, of the day. She was with me on Sunrise Friday with you yeah. and Sunset, and now oh, joining us. Um, with our animal world live, great to have you here. Yes, the, the black willow spider will definitely be getting into those hyena triplets uh, a little bit later. Uh, but as I said, we've got lots of counts and lots of things to go. We're starting to see some animals we have not seen before, which is, is quite exciting. Mm -hmm. And I know VM has been whispered to me that I do know one of the clips that is coming. Do. I do know oh, one. No. VM <laughs> whispered to me about it. Um, and then actually, I think. Julie and everyone were chatting about it on live right this morning. <gasps> uh, so I wonder if it's the uh, same one. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> I got that one, yeah, you were watching. Uh, Mars says, I'll come off, the, wipe off the cams. <laughs> You're always welcome. Yes. Yeah, exactly. There's, there's a lot of maintenance and, that, and a lot of maintenance that, mm. I mean, cleaning cameras and wiping down panels, we all get involved in. But the real hard work comes on the programming side. Um, to get all of those things to mm. talk to the right things and I think where are they hosted Vim? Uh Terraco, Johannesburg. Oh so they're not I thought they're in Germany. No, that's just the relay site. Oh. So anyway, they're hosted in Johannesburg, then they go through a relay site in Germany and yeah there's I didn't know that. Yeah, so there's there's <laughs> lots of lots of crazy things that goes uh, to keeping those live cams mm. up and, and going. Um, okay, let's see what's up next. Oh, critic cam. <laughs> I love this one. Oh, the pocket pig. <laughs> so cool. Look at this. Mm, that's in the garden. Exactly, like behind us. Right here. That is in our garden. Behind our studio. It looks like he just left the one quill there. Does that one came off now? Did you go fetch it? No, I should. No, yeah, yeah, I can put it on the table. Yeah, it will be our collection. I get poked. <laughs> yes. Vem, Vem, Vem gets very upset with me and hyena quills. I always pick them up. I've got a bunch of them, I use them for fishing. Hyena what? Um, sorry, I was reading oh, something. Oh, this, okay, okay. <laughs> I was reading something about hyenas. Um, but, uh, what? And I, I leave them in the badger or somewhere, and Vim's doing something, and he pricks himself on the hyena It's court. actually quite sharp, and you do breed, like, and you think it's... I know, you get... Yeah. Well, do you know why? Because you ever, them. Have you ever looked at a hyena court under a microscope? Mm -mm. Must be so, cool. So they're actually tiny little barbs. Mm -hmm. So that's why when they get stuck into a lion or a leopard, it's difficult for them to pull off. Sure. So these micro barbs, like on a fishing hook, yeah. to make sure your hook stays in place. Yeah. On the high, on the on the on the porcupine claw, <laughs> there, there's a whole bunch of micro barbs that. So when an animal, when you have to pull a porcupine claw out once it's deep, it actually rips the flesh and and can leave dirt and on stuff. On the surface, uh, it has that. Yeah. So they're, really? they're micro micro little barbs. Oh wow! I never knew. Ah, thank you, Boo. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, so um, it's 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 amazing that stuff. Mm, stuff. Mm. Um, one day I know Vim and I are planning. One day we'll have a microscope here for Animal World Live yeah, that we can look so at cool. different things and stuff like that. Um, it is in it is in the plans. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, let's see what what next after our our porcupine. porcupine. Yes. <laughs> oh, we're back in Critic Ah, I'll go for some more. Ah, slender, <laughs> of course. Favorite. Yes, I do have hyenas on my mind, hyena hey, boy. <laughs> I think so, as um, Lovely to see slenders. Now, that's one wonderful thing about this time of the year. Even while we're out on drive and stuff, you're starting to see more things. Slender mongoose, yeah, stand bulks, yeah. uh, dikers. Um, I still think we're going to see a grace corky here on Pride mm -hmm. at some point. And, I also think I saw one. Uh, and yeah. then I saw Dussies for the first time. <gasps> what? Wait. On Sentinel Corky. Nice. Yeah, so that's the only place I've seen Dussies or... Hyrax, um, uh, so that's that's quite mm, cool. That's very cool. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, yeah, so um, very, very exciting stuff. Slender Mongoose, uh, VM's favourite. <laughs> VM is slowly building up enough footage to make his Mongoose movie. I don't know how he's going to do it. How cool would that be? Is that, is that a plan? I didn't know that. VM, <laughs> VM and I have a deal with the pens. Like if I make it to make a fishing, fishing show, VM can make a Mongoose movie. <laughs> <laughs> fishing show and a Mongoose, okay. Sounds interesting. Yeah, that is, um, it is all the way back. Oh, zebras! Nice. It's a beautiful shot with the blue sky. Hmm. It's been a weird winter though. We're having a little bit of drizzle yeah, over cloud. Oh, Ooh. today was cold. This morning on Game Drive yeah, was very cold. I'm happy I was in bed. <laughs> yeah, you were in bed while we were. Yeah. While we were we were out. What's that? In parlor as well. There's some parlor. Parlor zebras. Do you like a good dazzle? Oh, oh, kick, kick, kick. Oh, they're nasty creatures to each other. Very nice reflection there. Mmm, beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, that's the that's and that's the wonderful thing about the... The elephant's camp? No, the, the winter. Yeah, no, it's bigger. The, 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 the water hole is just really, really... So productive. Um, really are productive. I mean, mm -hmm. you probably on average, you must have how many sightings a day? On HQ. On all, just on average, over all of them. Too many. Without the hyenas, of course. Um, 100? 50? Yeah. Yeah, so, so many. If 40, you start counting impalas and stuff. Yeah, 40 yeah. to 50 different sightings a day. No, it's really Indeed, cool. we, we, we do agree the mongoose movie would be cool. It's just trying to find a habituated <laughs> slender mongoose that we could follow around would be the hard part. I think this one coming to do the garden can be candidate. Oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> so it's, a, it's habituating um, communal animals like dwarf mongoose mm -hmm. and meerkats. Easier. Easy. Okay. Um, they move in groups, they're easy to follow, mm -hmm. but sure. Solitary, mm -hmm. like slenders. Yo, it's tough. Vim's just staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my says she just saw what? lions on Cuenca oh, really? Cam. How cool. That's nice. Maybe at the Ntomo Dam. Hmm, must be Ntomo Dam. Oh, mm. or, or, the or the Lodge Water Hall. Mm. Yeah, well, today's been a good day for wild dogs. You, we, I had wild dogs on my morning drive, you had wild dogs in the afternoon food, drive. Yeah, they were having such a snooze with the full, full belly. Oh, yeah, so they so obviously they, caught something yeah, after I lost them this eaten. morning. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Hello, Ellie's. Oh, I do love the angle of this. We, we often hear the Ellie's mm. all day mm. while we're fiddling around in the kitchen or running around in the workshop. Yeah, yeah it's definitely more so now. During the summertime, there was the water quite a lot yeah. spread around, but now it's really concentrating on the water holes. It's been very, very nice to hear them. It is. It's one of my favorite sounds in the bush. Except, except, <laughs> yeah, we can even have them drinking sometimes. Yeah, we do, we do, like splashing sound and water sound. But the, the one that, the sound that, that, of an elephant that I'm not the biggest fan of is a, is a, is the, the teenager getting weaned yeah. off, or the young, the young elephant getting the weaned off milk. Morning, yeah. <laughs> Water after trying to make that elephant noise. Yeah, today we also had a very upset elephant on their drum. Oh, did you? Trumped the thing a lot, yeah. We didn't even see a single elephant this morning. Oh, really? And we covered a lot of ground this morning. Yeah. And now with winter coming in, our, our range has expanded. Mm -hmm. So you know I know. I, I went. Like, whoa, we can here. I, I, I went all the way down, Global <laughs> North. Dirty. Down all the way to uh, past Ngati. Sure. Down to Global then back around the loop, around the drainage where Pixie Pan hands out that comes up at Twin Pans. Really? And then the whole of Giraffe stretch up to no Leo Pan, then down Leo no Pan to Bamba, and then Bamba down to HQ. Guys, this is the time for Bridges of our head. Yeah, <laughs> so um, the, the, what happens is with less leaves and stuff on the trees, mm. um, the, the signal can come through clear. Yeah, that's so exciting. So we can go a lot, lot further on our live yeah, drives. Giraffe moment. stretch too. The whole, well, did all, uh, almost the whole of Giraffe stretch. Up to the turn off to Leo I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited for my next drive. But I didn't come I didn't come west at all this morning. Okay. Because we're with the dogs down around Dover North South below the yeah, dam. Yeah. Well that's great news. Yeah. 
It is, it is, it is, it is wonderful. Yes. So now is the time to book a virtual safari. Range is expanded. Um, just a little reminder that on, is it Friday? There will be, need to double check here. Yes, on Friday, I'm not sure who's going to be taking it, but there will be a free to air uh, virtual drive sponsored by the patrons, our, our pack members. Mm -hmm. um, so don't forget to miss that. We'll be at 4.30 Central African time on Friday. Okay, let's see what's next, VMP. Oh, some doves. Okay, I'm oh, yes, I did know about no. this one. <laughs> because it was all over social media. Oh, no. Jake, uh, I think, shared it. Oh, um, it's you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't know about this one. So it is a, a, an Inyala and a Lagatha. It's so cool. Look at this jump. I know. It's amazing, isn't it? So cool. <gasps> Boom. Yeah. Would have been more amazing so if she had cool. caught the Inyala Madea, but I no. She um, has we'll, already four attempts here in front of the I know, we're going to get a live kill. Mm. And I think... Nagata will be the one? No, I think this camera will be the... You think so? One. Mm. What do you think, Fem? Yeah, I think this is a good candidate. Mm. I think either one or two, I think we won't get one there. Yeah. So cool. And she missed because she came jogging back past just afterwards. <laughs> poor, poor Nagata. Shame. One day she will make it. Yep. She will indeed. And it's amazing, you see how fast those mm -hmm. animals really, really are. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that is an awesome so sight. So easy to miss. Yeah. Yeah. And that was the middle of the day, I think. Mm -hmm. like I think one so. o'clock in the afternoon. Actually, yeah. We were probably sitting on our computers, working away. Yeah. And just... Just there, just that's there. happening. That's happening. Yeah, it's so exciting. Yeah, that's, one, that's an awesome one. Let's see what's next. <laughs> I can't tell if it's a stender or it's a dwarf. Dwarf? Yeah. The that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Now, of course, um, you know about the symbiotic relationship between mongooses and hornbills. Oh, no, don't yes. scratch the lens, you silly nonsense. <laughs> but it, they're here almost every day now, since mm. we popped a little bit of water there. They are so noisy that in my Japanese animal life, the dwarf mongoos kept calling just next to us. Maybe this was what was, was happening next to us while yes. we were alive. But I do love the social interactions. Now, of course, the hornbills benefit from the mongooses flushing, mm -hmm. um, insects, etc. And the mongooses benefit from an extra set of eyes up in the sky, um, or perched up higher, and to warn them about predators. Someone gave them a fright, or they just fought Still past. Yeah, yeah they just fought past the camera. Thing. So I remember this. We were watching this live in the house. Oh really? Yeah. So oh. we're sitting there, and Dean, I think, just readjusted the camera to make it straight, uh -huh. and then these guys <laughs> knocked it over. That's funny. Yeah, critter cams. Very, very. I mean, that's in the garden. Mm, it's such a fun watching critter cam. Mm. And it's, it's that's stuff. quite. Busy. Yeah, it's always busy. Oh, Ooh, good tackle. <laughs> good one. See? Here it comes again. Boom. <laughs> Been watching the rugby. Oh, look at this. Doof. <laughs> it's so entertaining. Can't believe it. So cool. <laughs> yeah, Z, get the dwarf mummies to keep the. Um, the lens is clean from spiders. I think spiders mostly go over them during night. Mm. Now, obviously insects and arachnids can see in different color spectrums to what we can. And certain insects are attracted to infrared light. And then I think the spiders mm. are setting up webs around where the infrared lights are mm. to try to catch those insects. insects. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. What was that on the roof? Sure. Could be a genus. <laughs> okay, let's see what's next. <laughs> Ah, very nice. Rhino bull. Beautiful. At Ntomo. Yeah, he has been hanging around that mm, area. I actually, when I've, I've, I've seen him there a few times as I've been mm. walking in and out of the office. Very cool. Very peaceful. Mm, nice there's, sound reflecting. There's, um, there's very, very few people who spend time down in that area. Mm. Um, but yeah, 
But it's very weird. We, we, we went there yesterday. Yeah, we did. We went to go clean the camera yesterday. Oh, this one? Yeah. Ah, thank you. So as you can see, dehorned all that, all the rhinos, of course, are dehorned here. Let's see what's next for us. Yeah. It's lion or leopard? Looks like a female lioness. Lioness, no. Is it? No. I didn't see this clip though, actually, earlier. Did I? No, there's a lioness. Hmm. Maybe it's one of the... Is this the one from now? Sixteen, so a few days ago. Oh, a few days ago. Can be one of those Ngati Pride. Mm. Mm. Oh, welcome, Rosemary. <coughs> Hold the fort, you guys. I'm going to see what that is. It's a ghost. I'm telling you. It's not a ghost, you guys. The, the ghosts live in your room only. No. Oh, there is no ghost in my safe. Yes. So there's something weird going on. I'm just going to check quickly. Vim said it's rust or something. Wait, is it in the room? <coughs> no, there's a bunch of plastic bags there that climb in. Yeah, even during the daytime, I know, like, we had monkeys visiting us. Literally, one monkey was sitting here. Hey? It was here, hey? It was literally sitting here. And then the other one was, like, sneaking through the top there. I don't know if you can see there, there you go, Math is going out, through there, through that gap. So there's a lot of animals has been watching us doing oh. this live show. <laughs> the dwarf mongoose is actually when it's hot, especially in summer, they like to come sleep inside the workshop on the cold concrete. I think... I wonder if it's the same lioness again. And then is that 17? A day later, yeah, a day later. Yeah, Ngati Pran has been in and out there. Yeah, be nice to know about it. <laughs> True, eh? <laughs> Sugar point. What is going on out there? Is this rat? Well, almost sounds like a bat. Something's falling. Like a squeaky. I also want to go and look. <laughs> but I can't leave here. You do want to laugh for Oh, it's like squeaking, like something is happening to whatever this animal is. Is it from outside, Ren? No, it's inside. It's inside, I think. <laughs> Must be a rat. Rat. Squirrel. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's exciting, always. Something is always happening in this garage. <laughs> Apparently something was trying to eat the gecko and it got its tail. That's why it's here. Hey? Okay. It's a genet. Can I go? <laughs> we should take the camera. <laughs> Yeah, it's apparently, it's, Brent think it's Janet, just to give you an update. Geckos. Geckos? Yeah. Not the Janet. No. <laughs> okay, that was a big difference between the two. <laughs> Last time it was rats. Yeah, yeah bush baby. Yeah, bush baby has been very active too. I saw literally two, like fighting, jumping around, chasing each other just outside the garage. And we had the mongoose in Vim's car. And what else came through? The monkeys. And the black mamba. The venomous snake also came through. Made a home inside here. What else came through? Bat, obviously, also come through. Because one used to live in here. Do you remember? Like it was one was flying through. What else? What other animals come through here, Brent? So we're not sure what's going on, but this gecko, minus the tail, just came plummeting out of the roof. You caught that? Well, it nearly fell on us. <laughs> and then in its mouth, it looks like it's got either baby, it's been eating a baby mouse or a rat or something. Oh, wow. That's crazy. 
So where should I come Matthew? Here. Uh, yeah, that's good. So you can see it's got fur in its mouth. So it's been fighting with a mammal. You see it? This is a Turner's thick-toed gecko, a big one. It's a bit stunned because he fell right out of the roof onto the concrete. But something else bit its tail off. Oh, shame. So he came out of the roof, Sansa tail. But that, it so was maybe fighting. that was the sound coming from, no? I don't know. I think it's a baby mouse in his mouth and he just didn't want to let it go. But I think maybe trying to get away from the adults or whatnot, his tail got caught. Obviously, geckos, um, like a lot of the reptile species, the tail can actually fall off very, very easily. It's their, their main defense Even mechanism. Even species? Mm. Oh, really? So if you grab a gecko by its tail, its tail just comes off. Mm, mm, mm. Yo, but, this is such a cool eye. Yeah. yeah. Should I, do I you want need to get my eye? macro lens. <laughs> Will light help? Yeah. I can hold the light up There you go. How's that? I think it was better without the light. Better without the light. Yeah. Well, let him recover on the table. How's that? Oh, shame the table. <laughs> yeah, but he's alive. So that's, oh, that's the squeaking sound was coming from. In the it could have been the gecko or could have been the baby... Or the um, um, rodents right, yeah. or whatever that we're fighting with. You know, so you never know what's going to happen <laughs> on Animal World Live. <laughs> I'm waiting to see if he regurgitates um, a mouse or something. Shouldn't we leave it on the floor? Is it fine here? No, yeah, it'll be fine there. Okay. <laughs> Such a like. Oh. He decided he wants to go somewhere else. He's woken up. He's not so stunned. He wants to get into the dark. He'll probably go. Underneath our feet. Yeah. Good following, Matt. But <laughs> when people who came on the animal lab now will be like, what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> He's trying to get to somewhere where he doesn't feel so exposed. So that tail loss happened. After we heard this noise up in the in the roof <laughs> and that that i mean that tail happened um tail loss happened like right now immediately um well see like it's called that turner's thick toed gecko because it's got thick toes just lost it now <laughs> well it's got his tail um sometimes the tails will grow back and sometimes they grow back two tails and in weird shapes and not right. quite the same as an original tail and sometimes they don't I did not check whether it was a male or female um, CNAC. But anyway, <laughs> exciting stuff. Now we, we're very lucky, we've got lots of different gecko species. That's one of the bigger species, the Turner's mm -hmm. thick toad. Okay, let's get back to live <laughs> yeah, cats. Let's get back to it. <laughs> ah. Was the lioness again? The, this time it's in Tumda. At 18th. That's like yesterday. Hmm. When? Oh, late. Where will we? Oh, there's more coming. <gasps> no, it's not feeling bad, this. Because we were there at about 7, 6.37 last night, Vim. So they were hiding somewhere around there. Hmm, they're coming from. We didn't go up into that top corner. Nice. Beautiful shots. Hmm. But this camera is also very good. Yeah. Mm. Good spot. Get a little bit more light and then it'll be perfect. So that's the Ngati Pride. Uh, we reside over Quenga, Pridelands, and Chejani. Oh, hi, hi, T. D. Kid. And here comes one of the boys. No, it's on the same night, you yeah. are. Mm, same time, just yeah. after them. Looking a bit hungry. <laughs> yeah, the lions like to drink well, from that. Ma says she saw them a couple of hours ago there. Oh, wow. Yeah, they always drink from the corner. Lovely. Very cool. Awesome. Very productive. Very productive. Mm. Okay, let's see what's next.
after our gecko interlude. It's still there. Yeah. Is it still yeah. chilling? Shame. <laughs> Who is that? Twin spot. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's twin spot. Looks like. Mm, looks like it. So chill out. Yeah, he's my favorite leopard around here. Mine too. So stunning. Hello, Twinny. Um, I think the male lions are called the Mussan Gula males. They're from the Timavati originally. I haven't seen Twinny for a while. Very cool. Like so nice. Camera, yeah. So cool. Such a beautiful creature. Do you think he's listening to the motion sensor, yeah? I'm not sure that makes sound, but maybe he's looking up from the inside. Or maybe the reflection of the lens or something that is catching his attention. Little twenty. Mm. This is so cool. Such a cool creature. Mm. Oh, I do like that leopard. Mm. Here's our most relaxed leopard. Sinak, no, we hide all the information from Mike and Taylor. We, we talk to them, we live on the same farm. So yes, we all know about the same animals. Um, so Tipovati is big. Um, but yeah, so as the crow flies from here, those males probably came... Not that far, 70, mm. 70 kilometers or so. Mm. Okay, moving on. Let's see what else is like happening. Where are we going to next? Was this when the first first evening, I think, for the little ones? Mm. They are so cute. Oh, mm. I don't even want to talk, I just want to watch them. There you go. Oh, there's a little fight there. They do remind me of little teddy bears. Teddy. But it also looks like a seal. Baby seal. No, it doesn't look like a seal, it looks like a teddy bear. Isn't it seal in English? Like those... Things from the ocean. Seal, hey, yeah. Yes, no, it doesn't look like a seal. I don't think it looks like a seal. So, it is uncommon. Oh, there are the other teeny boppers. I haven't seen them for a while. Oh, we'll get <laughs> Lots of interaction. <laughs> now, it is unusual for them to have triplets. Not rare, it is just unusual. Mm -hmm. But generally, in those circumstances, the one of them doesn't make it. But hopefully, this will be an exception mm -hmm. to those rules. So I mean, far, they look good. Oh, someone's digging. <laughs> Someone does. Do you know why is it the reason like quite a lot of them start peeing in front of the entrance of the holes? Is it the normal it's behavior? Normal, no, it's just yeah. scent. Um, peeing or anal pasting? Peeing, like literally. Oh, look at them. Mommy's She's listening. Mm. Could be another hyena. Comes this one more. Mm -hmm. There you go. Janet, generally not good um, for all three to survive. You can really see the size difference. The one in that last cup in the middle is quite a bit smaller than the other two already. So you can see the size the difference is starting now. Yeah. Yeah. That's a little bit smaller. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's... I don't think anyone else has ever had live hyena triplets on camera. Mm -hmm. Well, not this young. Mm -mm -mm. So cool. But we're going to be spending a lot of time with them. I heard you saw them on the live channel. Yeah, we did. Really they, ran, they ran back into the den there, yeah. They were, Still takes they, were, they, were, they were past where we park. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, traveling park. Nice no, um, that stuff. could just be laziness, the peeing right at the entrance, mm. of the, mm. with the mother in particular. 
Um, Hyena Boy, I've seen triplets a few times over the years, um, but uh, it, uncommon, not, not rare. Mm. I think that's a good call. I'd say probably four, four to five weeks old. Um, yeah. Being born in a natal den and now they're a little bit more Sorry. robust and their eyes are open. They've been moved to the, the communal den. I never get bored of watching this. Mm -mm. Like last night, I couldn't sleep. I kept watching this. So you have like, late watching, oh, watching, oh watching, watching, you? Know? Ah. <laughs> someone else is digging somewhere. <laughs> yeah, so much. It's so cool. So Indeed, cool. definitely a first for pride lands. Apparently they're calling, that's very cool. So for us, we can't hear the audio. Oh, there you go. It's going to be so interesting to see the dynamics. I mean, all three are getting stuck in there at the moment. Mm. Yeah, I'm very excited to see what's going to happen after this as they get older. I think we've got 16 different individuals so far that we know of. Don't wander too far, little one. I know, but, and we've seen what can happen very quickly at Hyena Dens in the past with um, our dear friend of the male lion. I know we had a visitor to the Hyena Den a couple of days ago, which was a big male lion. Yeah, a scary moment for them, for sure. <laughs> Thanks, Eagles Prey. Yeah, it will be amazing if they do all make it. So it will be absolutely awesome. Well, Tony's saying, you kid, um, have you noticed that she seems to have a feeding strategy? Yeah, Julie was actually talking about it. Was okay, it I, I haven't watched enough, I'm afraid. Yeah, yeah so. apparently she started having a, like, a tactic how to feed all three. I also haven't watched it personally, but Julie yeah. was talking about it for me. She's at the den now. Right. Mm -hmm. She's at the den right now. There we go. It's right now. Well, this is live right now. That's cool. Looks like she might call. Oh, don't worry, Jason. We are actually live at the Hyena Den now. Looks like mom might be about to call out the cabbies. Oh, no, the camera got stuck. <laughs> there we go. Oh, no, we're still stuck. Oh, no, I saw a bit of movement. There you go. Still so much dust. No, dig, 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 dig. Oh wow. Went wandering too far, obviously, Tony. Mm. Yeah, they're becoming brave. They're becoming brave, and you don't want to be too brave. Ah, oh, thank you so much, Jason. Oh, thank you, thank you. Mellow foreground sparky in the back. Yeah. But um, Vim's work on that, so well, we'll just carry on chatting a little bit out and said, Well, fortunately for, for them, the, the lions, the male lions in particular, they're not too worried about lionesses, mm -hmm. but the male lions don't visit that area around the den too often. It's not one on, on their sort of normal mm -hmm. marching routes when they do come through. We only have seen, as far as we have recorded, is only one. Lionesses there? I mean, the male lions. The male lions, yeah. only once. Yeah. yeah. So whether it's that, that Ledward Hyena Den where we had the cub killed by a male lion oh. was right on one of their regular routes. Oh, really? Yeah, okay, it was okay. one of the areas they walked mm -hmm. regularly. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. <laughs> oh, there we go. So this is now, then? Yeah. This is live right now. <gasps> Isn't that cool? So cool. We should go there right now. <laughs> <laughs> Nice and warm.
Yo, diggy, 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 diggy. Someone's digging. Sorry about that. Isn't that wonderful? Thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much. Indeed, Jason. Triplets. So, as we were talking about a bit earlier, triplets are, are uncommon. Um, they are just awesome. That's so nice. This is live, it's happening right now. It's happening right this very second, live. Yeah, that one in the middle is smaller than the one. Mm, there's if you can already see the size difference between. <laughs> Stop digging so we can see properly. You see someone digging me like this? No, it's, it's the dust digging ball. Or is it raining maybe? No, it's dust. Yeah, it changes its, mm. its direction, floating, yeah. floating. Yes, Jason, uncommon for hyenas. Normally it's two or one. See, it's possible um, there might be very young cubs at another natal den somewhere. No, you can't. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, oh, oh. I'm starting to see a bit of the hierarchy. I wonder if it's that's the spot. Oh, I wish I could hear what was going on because there's going to be a lot of noise. The hyenas make little, the hyenas of that size make the most epic sound. Do you know what it's called? Squittering. 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 I love that. Squittering hyena. A squittering hyena. I feel that lions actually normally far uh, more to the east than the south. Um, the pride, I mean, they move quite a lot, but normally to the, the north and the east. Um, very seldom actually to the south of the den. We, Jason, it's possible, uh, and normally that will happen, uh, one of them will, will generally be outcompeted by the other two, but we're holding our uh, fingers crossed that all three will survive. We'll survive. Okay, um, how many more clips do we have? We've still got lots more to go. No, we are in the hyena den. Ah, so we'll keep a look out in the hyena den. Um, it has always, has always been great. Now we had a nice discussion with our patrons um, on Drive. When was it? On Thursday. So if you are a patron and you missed what we, I had to say on Drive, you can go find it. I'm sure somewhere where you find your Patreon stuff. <laughs> I, I, I don't know exactly. Uh, and then just remember. On Friday, there is a free-to-air, public, anyone can join us um, for a live drive. I'm not sure who's hosting it before. Um, it might be me, it might be UK, it might be Dylan. Oh, we've lost our monitor, I'm not sure what that's oh, I'll trust you, we're live, yeah? Um, yeah, so there's some exciting stuff. Um, we've got some plans, and of course, um, we would love to have more people become part of the pack. And uh, there's going to be a lot more benefits going forward for the pack members that um, are... What, what did I say on drive? Were you watching? No. Um, members. And not <laughs> subscribers, not Patreon. You're members of the Painted Dog Pack. Um, yeah, so um, very exciting stuff. We're going to be offering a lot more benefits to, to, to the members of the pack. Uh, live drives. Um, I know Charles and Ben are working on uh, the cur curation of live cameras so you can actually go choose clips and, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and look after one or two of the, the live cameras, um, choose highlights from it. Um, so lots of, lots of cool little, little, little bonuses and stuff like that that we, we're hoping to, to work on. And then 
there's always something exciting around the next corner. And it's always, I can't tell you, you everything. Never know. I also can't tell you everything just yet. Um, but yeah, very, very, very exciting stuff in the not too distant future. Of course, we wouldn't be able to do this without our pack members, and we deeply, deeply thank you. Um, and also sticking through us through broken cars, yeah. late starts. Yeah, they were with me the whole way through with the weird car. Uh, yeah. Appreciate your patience. Obviously. Vehicles have been the bane of our life for the last couple of weeks, yeah. or months actually. Mm. No, 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 I don't take this blame because the car, it's car. No, no, no. Guys, don't listen to him. <laughs> it's you, cat. Call me or not me. Ah. Um, and then, of course, um, to our incredible sponsors, Lead Lenser, um, so we can see where we're going. Um, Rogue, for our hats, shoes, bags. Um, um, and, of course, remember, uh, both, well, Rogue, you can uh, get your Rogue hat or mm. shoes or fellies like mine Indeed. anywhere in the world. They deliver worldwide. Um, yeah, so exciting, exciting things. Um, of course, Untamed Brewing Company keeps us well. <laughs> going. Well. Well, well oiled with, with beer, um, and of course being on Pridence and Eco Training, who are our partners while we operate here. Uh, Quenga Safari Lodge, and the Stenbach family on Ritzbrecht, yeah. um, the Ledwood Big Game Estate, um, our super chat sponsors tonight, thank you so much guys. Thank you. Um, and of course all the viewers, and remember, if you haven't yet, go download the Painted Dog TV app. Um, as I say, we, we are working kinks out in it. It is going to become better. And you have to remember a lot of the stuff you're seeing on YouTube and on Facebook is only going to be available in the app at some point in the future. So just remember, you need to download that app. Um, we want to we wanna try to keep everything within the Painted Dog ecosystem. Um, so we are working very hard on that. Um, we're not quite there yet. There's still some things we, mm. things we figure out. Uh, all I know is that you need to write lots of squiggly lines and numbers <laughs> yeah, and zigzags of even. pages to make that stuff work in the app. Yeah. And I know that, that, that our partners on that um, are working very hard on it to be able to actually just take the whole experience to the next level. So you'll be able to have the chat functionality that you have on YouTube and on Facebook eventually. Um, and everything, all content will actually be in the app if you want to be up to date with what's happening with us and what's new the best place to do that is to download the paint dog tv app on the android or iStore. the desktop version is still in development but there will be a paint dog tv desktop version and tv version that you can actually click on 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 your smart tvs etc um eventually but we'll get there slowly but surely um rome wasn't built in a day and all those other cliches i wish it could be faster <laughs> but we always do and uh, we're learning as we go on uh learning with you guys as we develop and grow and uh, we grow together exactly uh, and it's lots and lots of love from all of our pack members here matthew on camera today vm and fc dylan making sure we're behaving uh, and charles <laughs> There. Oh, thank you so much, Wendy. Thank you very um, much. And Charles and Dean, who are sitting in the house where it's warm. Um, but I know they're watching. But yeah, it's been great. It's been grand. Lots of love. And we will see you soon. Mwah!